In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to bypass MAC address filtering. This can be useful in two ways. Let's say you're traveling and you come across a cafe that's offering wireless access, but they may want you to pay for it. It could be by half hour or an hour, depending on their terms and agreements. In this case, we can check for a client that's already paid for their services, spoof their MAC address, and get the internet for free. That, or if you've cracked a wireless access point's password that's around you and you still can't connect, chances are MAC address filtering is enabled. Okay, so I'm going to start by trying to connect to the wireless access point that has a MAC address filtering. And you're going to notice it's just going to keep trying to connect and connect and so on. And it's not going to let us connect because we're not on the approved uh, MAC address list. So it's going to come back at us and say that, you know, maybe we have the wrong password. And since I managed this access point, I know it is the correct password. So to get around this, We'll start by opening up a terminal, and we're going to start our wireless interface in monitor mode. We can do this with a command called airmount ng, and it will start and end your interface, wlan0. As you can see here, we've started a logical mon0 interface running in monitor mode. Monitor mode is going to allow us uh, to sniff the wireless traffic that's in the air. So we can do this by a command arrow dump dash ng and our interface. Now I'll wait until DEF CON shows up in here, seeing that that's the access point that we're trying to connect to. It shouldn't take too long. Okay, there it is. Alright, so it's right here. So what we're going to do from here on is we're going to narrow down our view of the traffic. and We're going to focus on just DEF CON. So we'll do this by running a command arrow dump ng again, which is a slight different syntax. C for the channel as you can see it's running on channel 11 and then the BSSID or the MAC address of the router paste that in there and then our interface MON0 alright so what we have here is we have the BSSID so the MAC address of the access point as I was just saying and then here we have underneath stations are the computers that are connected currently to that access point. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to borrow one of those MAC addresses since they're on the accepted list. Now you may say two of the exact same MAC addresses on a network, is that going to cause a problem? Well, most definitely it can and it probably will. But as an attacker, all we care about is gaining access to this network and continuing our attack from there. So we don't, we don't specifically care that if the other computer can't access the web or has issues. So we'll start by bringing our wireless interface down. Oh, WLAN 0. And then using a program called Mac Changer to change our MAC address to the one that we want to borrow. So I'll use this one here as I know this is my Android phone. And then the wireless interface that we want to change the MAC address for. As you can see, this was the, the MAC address that my card currently was for the Alpha card that I'm using. Now this is the new MAC address that the card has and it's unknown. So we can bring that interface back up And then we can also we can also take down the the logical interface mon zero that's running in monitor mode, seeing that we no longer need it. Okay, so now that we can do that, I just want to make sure that we did get the uh, the MAC address. Okay, so perfect. Our hardware address is the exact same one that we did change earlier. Now let's go ahead and try to connect to this app. Now we should be able to connect successfully. And as you can see, we have finally connected to, to DEF CON with the MAC address filtering. We should be able to open up a browser and surf the web. You successfully bypass the MAC address filtering.